What's happening, party people from the fifth dimension? This is your homeboy, Angela, out here. Stone cold chilling in the backyard. Just had a nice breath work session and a cold shower to revamp my day. Always love getting into a cold shower whenever I feel a little waning of the energy in any capacity and a good breath work session. So remember that when next time you're feeling down and you're a little lethargic, you're feeling like you need a little quick pick me up, get yourself down, do a little breath work, get into a cold shower, slap yourself around a little bit in a gentle way and get those bioenergetics moving. Now today I want to talk with you guys a little bit about idolizing false gods or false prophets or looking up to people who are not the people that you should be looking up to. And we all do this, whether it's somebody we work with, a boss, or somebody we see on the silver screen, somebody in the media, TV. And look, these people, they're human beings just like us, or at least we hope they are. Some of them it would appear there are maybe lizard people or some kind of alien entity that's sent here to destroy us, but we won't get into that right now. What I wanna say is that don't fall in love with what you see on your screen. Don't fall in love with what you see on your social media accounts and people are smiling, lots of selfies, lots of happiness. You know, these politicians saying all the right words, everything is staged, everything is cued, everything is prepared. We are organic beings. We are sovereign beings of light. We are spiritual entities having a human experience every single day out here. And it ain't as pretty as we see it on TV. And these people on TV, these politicians, these public figures that are telling us how to lead our lives, how to live our lives, what to do with our health, we should mandate this and do that. And look, it's your life to live. No one is going to tell you how to live. Now, granted, if you do something that isn't in the best interest of your society and of your people and of your community and family, there's going to be repercussions for that. There's going to always be consequences for your action. However, you're born free. Don't genuflect for somebody else and their ego. Be true to yourself be true to who you are. And if you see something that's not right, speak up, speak your truth, even if your voice shakes. Don't be someone to just fall in line because you don't wanna make waves amongst people, especially with people that you don't really, you know they don't really value what you think or what you feel or who you are. You're a pawn in the game of so many people. Most people out there, whether unwittingly, unconsciously or whatnot, they are, using other people to get what they want. That's just the reality of this life. People are out there to serve their own needs. And I always say that self-love is everything. We have to take care of home base first. And these people might be just trying to do that. We don't know what their intentions are. It's been said that the road to hell is paved in good intentions. Well, that road is paving on, paving on and paving on. We may do things with the best intentions that may not be of service to other people. What we have to do right now in this day and age, more important than anything else, we have to protect our energy. We have to speak our truth in every which way. Now, speaking your truth is not just through moving your lips and your vocal cords resonating and words coming out. It's about living an authentic life, living from your wise self. My mentor, she always tells me about this. Your wise self, capital S, your higher self, capital S. That is your true knowing. That is your inner standing, understanding, overstanding from God. God has placed gifts within you, and you know your true north. If you take some quiet time to yourself, you do that inner work, you take the, the deep breaths. Let's take a couple. One more. Whew. If you take some quiet space, a lot of us don't take that time, that carve out that quiet little space for ourselves to go within, to listen to the inner truth within ourselves. We're reactionary too much of the time. That's why meditation and breath work and cold showers and exercise and eating organic, non-GMO, nutrient-dense, mineral-rich, enzymatically on-point foods are a non-negotiable in this day and age because we are being inundated with toxicity in our environment and not just through the air, water, and soil, which is huge to our physical health, but also through toxic people, brainwashed people, people who are just falling in line, doing what they're told. 
being willfully mandated by insane measures. They don't question anything. Monkey see, monkey do. Forget herd immunity. This is herd mentality that people are living in now. Know your inner truth. Know where you're coming from. Sometimes you have to go through great tragedy, trauma, and failure to find yourself. And if you've never been through suffering and come out on the other side a stronger person, then maybe there's more, more of that type of struggle ahead for you. Granted, life is about struggling. It's about these little micro traumas throughout our days. But we can learn from those things and we can live an authentic life. We don't have to be led by anyone else except our inner knowing. God resides in all of us. And like I said before, God don't create no trash. God don't make no trash. You are a living miracle. Live your truth. Be you. Always be kind. Take no shit. Be real. Keep it real, baby. That's what it's all about. Keep it real. With yourself, number one. With others, number two. Live a life of compassion, truth, honor, wisdom, joy, health, happiness, freedom. That's what life is all about. That is what life is all about. That's the message of the day, y'all. Don't be falling for the antics on your television. Don't be sold. They call it television for a reason. Tell live vision. It's programming, y'all. They're programming you. Turn it off. Social media, same thing. If you're not a creator, you're a consumer. Get off that shit today, baby, and get on to living your real life. Get out into nature. Go hug a tree. You know what I'm saying? Go hug a tree. Go dip your feet into some sand or some mud, some dirt. Get into some natural water. Get into a spring. Do what you got to do. Raise up your vibration and keep it real. I love you all. Have a great day. Peace. Yes, oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. Shut Let's go. When I see you over there in the corner of the dance floor, and I know, I know you're acting shy. Looking at the corner of your eyes. So I pick my heart up off the floor. Move my feet closer to yours Catch my breath and I say I'm the one you're looking for baby. So come on, come on Dance a little dance Take my hand, darling, take a chance You be my queen, I'll be your king Show you everything that you've been missing Show it, so come on, come on